Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I have to admit that at long last I have entered the world of fountain pens. I um, had watched some of Kara's videos over on AK Caribou here on YouTube and um, I had seen them and I had enjoyed them and then one night on a date night I had stopped at a local stationery store because I love pens and I love paper and when I was in there I saw the beautiful and vast array of fountain pens that they had to offer. Unfortunately the, um, most of them were far more than really what I wanted to pay and invest in it so I decided well let's go online and start searching. So um, and please don't faint if you are a pen purist, but I just simply went to overstock.com to see what I could find looking for a good value. And I found this one. This is called the Nemo Scene, or I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, pen. It was very inexpensive. I think with shipping and everything, I paid less than $20 for it. And it came with six cartridges. Um, it came with blue ink, which my preference would have been black. I didn't realize what color the ink was coming at first, but I have to say that once I got it and um, started writing with it, I immediately knew that I was hooked on fountain pens. I love the flow of it, and honestly, I'm even liking the blue and have been using it at work. And as a nurse, I primarily use black, but we are allowed to use blue, and I found that I really liked the blue ink. So um, let me talk to you a little bit about this particular pen. Um, it is definitely on the lower end of pens. And as you can see, um, it definitely has some flaws here. If you look at my cap, and perhaps you can see it best when it's attached, um, you can see that from here to here it is cracked and is actually now continuing to crack. It won't be long and that whole area will be broken off. Um, in fact, at first, um, the first piece broke off after about only eight days worth of use. Now, I think that part of that may be my fault. Um, I tend, because it is a screw on cap like that, it doesn't pop on and off, it screws on and off. I suspect that I most likely screwed it down a little bit too tight and thus it started to break. It doesn't seem to be breaking up inside um, the cap and inside the metal band so I don't know if there's something in the process that made it um, a little more um, susceptible to breakage because of the silver band. I don't know. It is a very lightweight pen and I don't know exactly what type of material it's made out of but it seems to be um, pretty plastic to me. It's still a pretty little pen um, and the way it writes is just amazing. Like I said it's a blue pen and I haven't even watched videos to really learn how to write properly with it yet but I will tell you that it has such a smooth writing. Let's see I've not used it for a few days so let's see if it's starting to dry. Nope it's a little bit starting to dry. Um, so I just really like the finer nib um, and I have found that I really enjoy writing with it. Remarkably enough one of the people at work we were talking about pens the other day and she said you know I've never really been interested in um, fountain pens but seeing the way your blue one writes I really like that and I have to agree I I agree 100%. It, it, it writes beautifully um, and if it wasn't falling apart I probably would not have started looking quite yet for a new one. But since it was starting to fall apart I decided to look for a new one. So this time I went to Amazon.com and I found this beauty. Now if you know me at all you know I am a purple girl. I love purple. And so this time I decided I was going to find a little bit better pen although this one was not that expensive. I think um, well, I have Amazon Prime, so I don't believe I paid shipping, and I think the pen itself was less than $23. So it's still not an expensive pen. Um, it's, it's a good little starter pen, I think. Um, the one thing that I misunderstood when I purchased it, I thought that I was purchasing another finer point, and this is actually a medium point pen. Um, and I actually prefer the finer point pens. Um, so this one writes a little bit more boldly than I expected um, and it kind of took me by surprise and honestly if I could combine this nib with this pen it would be the perfect pen. I really do like this pen. Now this pen um, instead of having a screw on 
um, cap like the other one, if you screw it on and off, what you do is you end up pulling it out. Um, so what I discovered is it's not a screw on and off cap. It's It pops on and off. Um, and I do like that. I think for one thing, my pro problem that I had with this one isn't going to happen because it's not going to break because I'm not screwing it on and off. But the other thing is, is this is a heavier pin. I don't know what the material is, but it's definitely, um, it has, it, it feels like it's built a little bit longer to last, perhaps a little less disposable than this was, though this was not a disposable pin. So how, how does it write? Um, it writes beautifully, but like I said, it definitely writes much more boldly than, um, I expected um, and I'm not a hundred percent sure because I'm still learning um, it also tends to f what I consider feather or kind of smear a little bit so I'm also um, kind of wondering if I need to kind of play with the tip a little bit perhaps it's not quite in there correctly for some of you who have a lot more experience with um, pens you might be able to tell me um, is there something that I need to look at with that um, because it does seem to kind of spread the ink seems to spread almost as if perhaps it's letting out just a little bit too much ink as I'm writing um, the other thing the one thing about this besides the nib that I don't love is the fact that it doesn't really click on well to post um, so I find myself leaving it in my hand because there's been several times that when I'm writing, I'll be writing away and the cap will go flying off. So it's not a great posting pen, which really isn't a huge problem for me. Um, it's just something I have to be aware of or I am um, running after my pen cap from the floor. At the time that I purchased this one, um, well, after purchasing my first one, my husband told me um, that he really liked fountain pens, um, and he did have one when we were newlyweds that had been, I believe, his great uncle's or someone's, and it um, he never could get it to work properly. It was an older pen. It had been all dried up. Um, it was a pen that did not use ink cartridges. It was one that used the ink to fill, and by the time he got it it just never worked properly for him so I thought well I'm buying me one let's buy him one so I found this one for him I um, this one's pretty heavy um, I mean it's not really heavy it's actually very very lightweight in fact it's lighter weight than my crosses it's really chunky um, and what I didn't realize with him is that I did not buy him one that you use cartridges in you had to purchase ink. So last night we ran to the city and um, just kind of had a little date night and we stopped and we purchased some ink for him. Um, like my original one, it is a screw on cap so it does not come on, it pop on and off. However, with the, with the silver band being at the bottom, I think that it also will last a bit longer than what mine did. Again, I'm still using this one. It just is starting to fall apart on the cap only. Um, but this, as far as the fill of the pen, um, it was the, about the same cost as this cross. The brand on this one is called Noodler's Ink. It came in this um, box, um, and um, we it came it had some. Um, instructions in it, even some graphics and pictures. It's actually called the Ahab um, Piston Flex. And um, it's a fine nib pen, which I love. He purchased black ink and he just refilled it for me. It's a little bit um, chunkier than what I prefer to write with. As a rule, I, pretend, I, I like a slimmer pen, but it does write um, beautifully just like mine does um, and I definitely like that thinner um, nib that fine nib that's on it so um, those are my thoughts on the three different pins they are all unique I would say aesthetically my favorite one is of course the purple one uh, 
nib wise my favorite one is this one um, I just have a nice feel for it this one's not quite as chunky as this nib noodlers ink um, and perhaps for my husband that will be better you, you know um, perhaps it maybe fits a man's hand better than what I find that it fits my hand because I prefer the slimmer ones and it's it's even a little this one's even a little chunkier than the Nemo scene was so those are my thoughts my adventures in the fountain pen world I don't anticipate him buying a new one anytime soon um, but I am going to learn more about them and see if I can figure out if there is something wrong with the nib on this one or if I just need to get a better fill for the pen and in the meantime thanks so much for stopping by and remember take some time to enjoy the little things like pens have a great day. Bye.